Hey everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to manage your Shopify payment methods. Everything you need to know from the, for the basics of how to actually add ones and just uh, manage them and what you need to do in order to set up your payments in Shopify. A few things that we need to, uh, uh, need to address before you get started on setting up the payments is that obviously you need to uh, pretty much just finish up your account uh, meaning you need to verify your mobile number you will need to uh, uh, verify your address or business address and all of those things are going to be needed in order to actually add uh, payment methods and so on and so forth so that's the first thing you need to finish up your account settings the second thing that you need to uh, keep in mind is that the plans for Shopify are going to have a difference in the transaction fees that are going to be placed uh, when you actually add the payment. I will talk about that later on. You will see what I mean exactly, but the fees are going to be different from each plan. Basically, as you can see here, for the basic plan is going to uh, the fees. Online transaction fees for all payment providers are going to be 2%. Currency conversion fee is a different story. It's not going to change across all uh, other plans, but this is going to be the difference. So for the basic plan, you will get 2% uh, fees for all payment providers, which uh, I will talk about too. The payment providers uh, for Shopify plan, you will get 1%. And then for the advanced, you will get 0.5%. Uh, uh, or the online trans transaction fees are going to be 0 0.5 across all payment providers. So now that we have that in mind, also in, in this advanced, you can see this duties and import taxes rates is going to also have that. But now let's actually talk about how to add the payment methods and how to manage them. In order to do so, if we close out of this, we can just head over to our Shopify store or the dashboard to be more clear. And once you are in this page right here on the dashboard, you need to uh, go ahead and click on settings on the bottom left corner. From the settings, it should show you uh, your uh, the, the settings dashboard here. And you need to simply just navigate yourself and click on payments over here. Now in the payment section, here is going to be basically everything that you need to uh, adjust. If, can I zoom in a little bit? Nope. All right, let's just keep it as this. So here we have, uh, we have the payment providers. We have two methods that we can add, supported and manual. So I'm going to go through each one of them. But to start off, let's start with the payment providers, which are a must uh, and are going to be uh, each country will have different providers that are going to be available. And you will see that in a minute. Uh, but it says here providers that enable you to accept payments, payments methods at a rate set by the third party. So the rate is going to also be different from one provider uh, or another. We will see that as well in a minute and an additional as i told you an additional fee will apply to new orders once you select a plan so again it depends on a plan so uh depending on your plan is going to be two percent one percent or 0 0.5 percent transaction fees but now once we get once we got that out of the way we just go to payment providers and we just click on choose a provider. From here, you can start uh, looking up on your own uh, which provider for Shopify is going to be the best for me and in whichever country you are in. So I am in the uh, United Arab Emirates right now. And as you can see, we have a few and then unavailable in your country, unavailable in your country. 
and so on and so forth. So uh, for the US and stuff, most of these things are going to be available. You just need to know which one is best for you and which one you have an account with and you have maybe experienced or, or know someone who uh, worked uh, with them beforehand. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to go for the preferred one, preferred option for me, which is going to be Stripe. Uh, but you also you need to keep in mind, you need to see on the right side, you can see uh, which the pro providers, which uh, payment types they accept, like they accept Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Apple Pay, which is great. But then you have others that accept even more. So Visa, MasterCard, American Express, we've got Discover here in JCB and Diners Club uh, and all those things are going to be accepted for this one. So each one is going to be different. You need to do your own research in order to manage and find which provider is going to be the best for you. So what's next? After you find the provider that you uh, wish to work with or have them as your provider, you just go ahead and click on them. And for each one is going to be different. So for Stripe, for example, they t redirect me to this page where I need to actually just uh, input my login uh, details for Stripe. So let's say you encounter something like this for Stripe. You go ahead, obviously, if you have an account, you just go ahead and put your account in. But if you don't, you just go on Google, Stripe, sign, sign, not sync sign up and you just go ahead and sign up with them put on your uh, um, email full name all of those things and for the company name or business name you just go ahead and put your uh, Shopify in there and you should be good to go and then you just come back to this page and uh, you just set things up and you just log in over here so it's going to be very, very simple. But as I said, it's going to be different across uh, providers. So for example, if I go, uh, I don't know, like this one, for example, it's different. It's not going to redirect me to a different page. It's just going to be in the same uh, dashboard where I'm going to also have to put my account information. Again, to do so, you need to create an account for this provider over here and then you just put your account information over here username password merchant account and then here's the twist that the previous one didn't have for me uh oops my bad if i go back so uh as you remember the stripe platform didn't really ask me which ones i want to have I, I, I w it was mandatory to have all four, but here, if you didn't see it, after you put your cred credentials here or information, a cred uh, you, you can just go ahead and select which payment methods that you want to accept. So you can just opt out of those, for example. Maybe you don't want Maestro. Maybe you don't want American Express. You just want Visa and MasterCard. For this particular uh, provider is it's available for you. You can actually adjust it. So as I said, it's, it's going to be different for each uh, provider. But then once you are done, you just uh, go ahead and click on activate and you should be done. If you're in Europe, you need to do this, all of those things. If you want to enable test mode, I don't really recommend any test modes unless you know what you're doing, but you just go ahead and activate it and it should be uh, I keep quitting out of the options, uh, but you should be good to go after you finish up with your payment providers. So next up, we have two options to add the payment methods. We've got supported and we've got manual. Let's start with the supported one. Obviously, the most requested one or the most uh, well-known one is going to be PayPal. And PayPal is going to already be on here if not you can simply just click on add payment and then you just look up paypal but we will get to that soon first if you have this paypal and you just want to set it up you just click on activate paypal and then you just click on activate paypal express checkout and then from here you just uh 
go ahead and put your uh, login uh, information and that's it you just click on next and uh, if there's any other information that, that you need to fill in you just do so and just connect it's as simple as that and then you should be uh, good to go with the paypal payment method but then it's not only it doesn't stop at paypal you can also add payment method here and you get greeted with these two options here you can search by payment method meaning visa mastercard maestro whatever it may be or you can search by provider so provider would be such as paypal for example for example or uh, i think amazon is one of them yeah you can see you can search for amazon payment services and you can actually find them and let's say we want to choose this one but first let me show them before i do this let me show you what about the other one so if we want to search by uh, payment method you will find visa mastercard discover american express uh, diners club and so on and so forth and then it will show you once you click on it as i did already uh, it will show you all these uh, providers that offer this type of uh, payment method obviously depending on your country but let's do the amazon for example so let's search by provider and do amazon payment services we choose it we click on it and then guess what you just connect it and it may it actually will ask for your information but that's how you connect with uh the uh, the 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 payment the supported payment methods again uh, just quickly you can search by payment method which means visa mastercard or whatever it may be simple as that once you're selected and you're happy with it for example american express it should show you uh, all the providers that are that support this type of uh, payment method and then you just pick one have an account link them with shopify and you should be good to go and just connect it simple as that um, and then you can also search by provider again if you want to if you have a certain provider that you want to work with you can just search here for example as i did with amazon and you should be good to go again just link it with your shopify uh, and follow the steps it should be very very simple now that's about it for the supported payment methods now the most i would say most important one for newer uh people for shopify or, or sellers that want to still gain trust from users uh, or customers you would actually want to opt into manual payment methods and that would be if you click on here you go ahead and just uh, create your own payment method that means you can do bank deposit money order or the most uh, anticipated one would be cash on delivery a lot of people just uh, trust the product when it's cash on delivery especially for uh, newbies or you know new uh, sellers on shopify they would actually start out using this method you just simply go ahead and click on manual payments methods go ahead and click on here and if you want to choose a bank deposit you can do it money order same here but if you want to do cash on delivery you just click on it and additional details which here you just type in uh what the customer will be seeing when they are choosing this method you just say like basically you just type in something like you you will pay when you get your product something like that along those lines uh and then instructions if needed you just go ahead and have those in here maybe you can find templates that are uh, i don't know well designed for this kind of uh service but it's very simple it's not complicated you just type in like for example pay on delivery and here just type in uh, i don't know leave uh, the box outside or something <laughs> i don't know i don't know what to type but you know what, what i mean it's just instructions for how this works nothing too complex here 
So how this is how to manage and add your payments for Shopify. I think I made everything clear in this video, the basics at least. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's all I have for you. Thanks for watching.